are desperate for information about France. Churchill has asked us to create a secret army of spies. This is a rudimentary operation. Women will be more inconspicuous. Make sure they're pretty. For you or for the Germans? I don't believe we've met. Virginia Hall. We could set her up as a journalist. Good Lord, Vera, she has a wooden leg. Would you suspect this girl's a spy? Rumor has it you are the best wireless operator in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. Signaling is like music, there is a rhythm to it. I'm a pacifist and they are teaching us to kill. They're training us to survive. We need you as our first female field agent. Okay, shut! Don't be fooled. Common folks are becoming collaborators. Acquire information, build resistance, no crash, no crash, and set France ablaze. If you have any doubts, tell me now. This field's dangerous. We're here now. We've seen it through. We have no choice but to learn the hard way how to do this. Trial and. A lot of error. Come on, let's go. Go now. The Germans are locating our signals faster than anticipated. We must keep trying. Who is she? I'm going to ask one more time. The Germans will stop at nothing till they find you. I'm not giving up. We're not giving up. Up, up! You know, we are here only for a short time. What we do while we're here. Changes the course of the future. Men of the 24th Infantry. This is Texas. And we have a great opportunity here. <laughs> Legacy. If proven worthy, will carry us all the way to the shores of France. Yeah! Things are a little different down here in the south. I will expect you men to obey the racial code. Yes, sir. Get back with the others. Just go ahead and drive this machine. Officer Cross. This is a white man's world. Every man here has got a lit fuse. Jim Crow's the law. Respect it. What are we gonna do? The police brutalize us, sir. All we want is to be treated as soldiers. As military police, you are to ensure order of the men of the 24th Infantry only. Drop the knife. Back up! I was robbed of my honor. You get out of here before they take yours, too. The general can get the 24th in the fight. He's never going to do that. What do we do, sir? William, I've done all I can do here. We have a problem. We're going to take our country back. Law run this town. There's a militia on the way. Are they? Which way did they go? Pushing people down. Sooner or later, they rise up. Fire! Can you identify any of the leaders of the mutiny? When I aim the gun, I saw a man. He didn't see one back. Be careful. A lot of roadkill out there. Go!
open the door. Didn't you hear the emergency broadcasting? Everybody's supposed to evacuate. Thank God you're here. There's a killer on the loose. in the cabin stays in the cabin <laughs> People, this is going to be very basic for some of you. What you've got is 64 squares, 32 pieces. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, what Ivy League school you may go, may not go to, because chess is the great equalizer. We got a tournament coming up in a couple days. So we need to start really considering if we're serious about what we're doing here or not. Oh, oh. on the mic, yep. I get tight. Yep. Don't mess with me, cause chess is life. Yeah. The minute that you lose, you won't be losing. Today's Hage oh. The board is fine spending $400 on footballs, but not with sending kids on a road trip to improve their minds. You can have them play marbles for all I care. Just keep the bodies in the seats. You're underestimating me, okay? And more importantly, them. Kids like this from places like Dade County don't ever make it to team regionals. Then it shouldn't be too hard for them to swallow. Give up on them, let their parents give up on them, let the whole system give up on them. But you know what? I ain't, okay? This moment right here is the happiest I've ever been in my life. So you come in here bragging because you want a trophy. Play to win! These kids have real potential. My mommy's tell me, make something of myself. Yes, sir! That's what I'm gonna do. Watch out, world, we coming for you. All four of us. Yo, we can be something special. Just remember, your mind can be your weapon. Ooh. From the streets, we were summoned. Last year, a hundred million people tuned in live to Miss World. More viewers than for the moon landings or the World Cup final. Beautiful, darling. Mum, don't. You and your sisters used to love playing this world. I also like to eat our own snot. We really believe beauty isn't just skin deep. The girls also have charm, grace, good deportment. Swimsuits. Miss World rehearsals are underway. I'm the first black South African to take part. I'm the first Miss Gornita. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Hope. The last time Bob guested on this show, he brought the winning girl <laughs> home with him. <laughs> They're turning oppression into spectacle. Let's make a spectacle of our own. We'd infiltrate the theatre. We've just been smoking and watching, like in a heist film. If I win, there will be little girls who might start to believe they have a place in the world. We're black. We're not going to be Ms. World. You don't own me. I don't want you to think I'm some kind of brute that doesn't consider the feelings of women. I consider feeling women all the time. Forget this. Tonight may be the start of something, Bob. This competition makes us compete with each other and makes the world narrower for all of us in the end. Why should any woman have to earn her place in the world by looking a particular way? <laughs> you don't. He doesn't. Why should we? If you want to make it as a singer, America is where you need to be. I'm being paid less than the band. So they're men. They've got families to feed. 
Well, I've got a family to feed. My mother tells me I have to choose between career and marriage. I tell her we can have both. <laughs> From now on, no one will tell us what we can and can't do. Miss Reddy, you sing. You sing very nicely. But male groups all the rage right now. You've heard of the Beatles, right? Did it ever occur to you meant to ask women what they want to listen to? Ellen, that she's tapped into something here. Remember that march in New York and how many women showed up to that? Bunch of record sales marching down the street. I am woman, hear me roar in numbers too big to ignore. It's kind of angry. It's man hating. Jeff, you okay with this? What are you doing? You want to lose your recording contract? This is more than just a song to me. Helen Reddy. And I would like to thank God because she makes everything possible. I'm strong, strong. I am invincible. Invincible. I'm 40 years young, <laughs> and um, I live with my mother. It's okay. Good night, Mom. I'm looking for a deep connection, someone I can give myself to completely. Hi, I'm Andy. Thanks for being here today. I have been waiting for this moment for what feels like forever. True friendship. We're going to get to know each other. Friendship. Talk about whatever you want. But more than anything, we're going to have some fun. Yeah. And hopefully, yeah. it's the start of a beautiful relationship. Yeah. What do you say? Sounds weird, Andy. Hi, uh, I'm Lisa. You want to hang out tomorrow night? I'd, I'd love to. Maybe someone will come around that can help you out a little. I thought we could tell each other everything. You just need to open yourself up to it. I thought we were best friends. Nothing like a little friendly competition. Right, pal? That's what friends are for. You're just drunk with infatuation for some cute girl to be there for each other. We don't need her. We have each other. When all the chips are down. You've taken everything from me. Andy! 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 
That's why I'm here for you, pal. Ah, the Highlands. One of the purest places on Earth. Hardly a foot has touched... Wait, who the hell... Okay, roll call. Duncan McDonald. Yeah! Dean Gibson. DJ Beetroot. DJ Beetroot! Can I have your real name? Just that third one down there. William de Beauvoir. William de Beauvoir. Oh. What did you tell him? to go himself. Oh, nice! Who are you? Ian. I'll meet you at the campsite at 6 p.m. Be careful, we don't want to get lost in the highlands. There's danger everywhere. Hello, boys! Is that the Duke of Edinburgh? Run! He nearly killed us! We got your weapons. We're doomed. We'll make a bomb. <laughs> Oh. Where's the explosion? You have a whole point of a bomb? Mr. Carlyle! <laughs> I've never seen a murder before. I'm homeschooled. This Lord of Wars caused discord. This is our number one case now. Yeah, take some of these. You'll feel invincible. Your generation, you're always complaining, always saying you are the victim. You madman! We have to stop them. Yeah, low super high. You won't get away with this. We always do. Let's finish this. When I say yeah, only you say duped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing ever happens in the Highlands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what happens in the Oval Office, and that's what scares me. I come at this from a very unique perspective, not just having been a journalist, but also having worked for two different presidents. Hey, folks. Thanks a while. Pete was with the president all the time. Unlike his predecessor, Mr. Trump does not allow his staff photographer to capture photographs of life and work inside the White House. If you just stacked up the images of the Obama presidency and the Trump presidency, you would see the two stories of America in the starkest possible contrast. The job of the chief official White House photographer is to make authentic photographs. Photographs break down the idea that these people are somehow different from us. I've got an idea for another picture. <laughs> Did you get that piece? Yeah. The first time that we went to the UN, he and Reggie Love played basketball. At one point, President Obama blocks Reggie's shot. And he goes, Did you get that block? When the history has been written. When Barack Obama was elected, I could see what he meant to the African American community. This five year old kid asked Obama, Is my haircut just like yours? President Obama bent over and let that kid touch his head in his hand. That image stands for how kids will see themselves differently forever. I thought, who is this man? How does he deal with crisis? Leadership, character, and empathy. Don't you wish we had that now? When I first met Pete, his politics were not at all evident. Pete changed. He could no longer be this fly on the wall. The future! Pete Souza is getting attention online with replies to President Trump's tweets. I had to speak out. I knew how the job should be done. Pete felt the urgency to show what the office can be. This was a 911. Reagan and Obama respected the dignity of the office. The presidency is a serious job. And I was going to do everything I could to make sure people didn't forget that. Do you have a picture for every single thing that Donald Trump has lied about with Barack Obama? Pretty much. 